Hey guys, sorry about the uh, camera here. Okay, this is a uh, inner light experience. The inner light, your seeds. This is a uh, series of experiences I have on the inner light that I'm making, and this is one. So, one night I was laying in bed, going to sleep here in Chatham. And I had moved back from living on the streets in Windsor. So my mom saved me. <laughs> anyway, I was listening, it was around midnight, I was listening to Art Bell. Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. Not the other jerk that's in there now. Corporate flunky loser douchebag. Anyway, I was listening to Art and they were talking about dimensions other dimensions yeah I didn't know if it was real or not dimensions I didn't I didn't understand it but I was all metal listening to it and they were talking about it I got kind of pissed because the guy that was talking or was talking about other physical dimensions physical like the meat world here The other guy was saying, no, dimensions, meaning dimensions from a viewpoint here, nothing else. So if you were a bird, you see in, you see in different dimensions, sight, sound, all that, okay? That's what they're arguing about, from what I can recall, as he explained it. I got kind of pissed. I don't know why, because I don't know nothing about it. And Art was saying, no, it's about other physical dimensions beyond this one. And that's where the confusion is. Science, sight, sound, smell like a fish underwater, gets one dimension and sees the surface and all that weird stuff. I don't understand it all. Because it ain't real to me. And I didn't know anything about it. But I'm listening. Then. I said. I, I was turning off the radio. It was like 1, 2, whatever. In the morning. I just turned off the radio. And I was laying there. And I, I thought to myself. I, I didn't know nothing about. I knew about the inner light. But I wasn't focusing on it. I just asked myself. There's no such thing as physical, other physical dimensions. There's no other, you can't prove it. How the fuck do you even prove it? How do you even prove these scientists are saying it's there and they're giving us different perspectives of mind and perception? How do you even prove anything, right? You can prove the science part by fucking leaving the ground. Therefore, you've got a separate perception, different perception, another dimensional viewpoint. Okay? Something like that. And I'm arguing with myself. Not arguing, just, you know, thinking about it. And I got pissed off. I go, there's no... And I thought about it really deep. And I thought to myself, I just got fed up with myself arguing. And I said, fuck it. There's no other dimensions. That's all there is. There's no other dimensions. I go to sleep, right down there, fall asleep. Um, <laughs> this is what I was All of a sudden, I mean, I'm not even, I'm sorry, I'm not even sleeping. I'm laying on my back, just waiting to fall asleep. And I have my earplugs in. All of a sudden, in my mind, in my mind, or something, I see. A Rubik's Cube. Now you know what a Rubik's Cube is? It's a square. But the, it wasn't colors. It was solid black. With brown lines on it. And it was a cube. And then the cube. Just sitting there. Black on black. Like gloss black against ambient black. And it starts spinning. Slowly. 
it starts turning like this, the cube, in my mind's eye. Then, as it's spinning, it separates like this. So you got half a cube here and half a cube here. And then, as it's spinning around like this, the cube, each side of the cube starts moving. The, the left hand side, I don't know which way it spun, but it moved like that. The right hand side, at the same time, we say this is a cube, my fingers are the cube, it starts spinning like that, each side, as it's going around. Now, cube represents this physical reality to me. As they break apart and they start spinning like this, and then it stop, and then as it's moving slowly, a light appears in the middle of where the cube should be, like a normal cube, but it broke apart and started spinning like that. As it's spinning around like this, those spins, the spinnings of the main spinning of the cube going around like this means something. As it breaks apart and goes like this, that means something, and it's spinning, but it's opening. As it's opening, each side is one is going left, one is going right, clockwise, counterclockwise. A light appears. A, a pinpoint of light appears as soon as it started opening like that. As soon as it started spinning, the left and the right hand side started spinning. A light appears in the center. And as it starts opening more, or moving more, left and right, the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until the light encompasses the whole cube okay then as I'm watching the light it turns into a window an oval window like that in the blackness in my mind I'm like fuck well, alright well, I'm gonna look and see what's in that window so I run over and the window's about, it's up here. It's like throat level or something. So I grab on and I pull myself up. As, I, as I'm as i pulling myself, I look through the window and there's like reddish color in the on the other side of the window. So I pull myself up and I look. And the sun, there's a sun. I'm looking in another world. I pull myself up to the window, I look. As I'm pulling myself up, I can see clouds and sunset colors all the way to the horizon. As I pull myself up, I look, and I'm looking at an industrial city, or what looked like it. I'll give you some, there were pipes, huge pipes, little pipes buildings and pipes and I'm on a main road I'm looking down on the main road that goes all the way to the horizon each side of the main road is just pipes smokestacks and pipes and fire on the top of the smokestacks big giant generators and all kinds of you ever see a, it looks sort of like this did you ever see an oil refinery Imagine an oil refinery, what that looks like, all the way to the horizon. I mean, all the way to the horizon. That's what I'm looking at. As I'm, I'm like, holy, holy moly. As I'm looking at all these pipes and machines and smokestacks all the way to the horizon, the left side and the right, of my viewpoint all the way, just the whole goddamn landscape all the way to the horizon. His pipes and smokestacks and fire and shit filling the sky. I'm looking at it and then I, I hear, I look, I look, I follow the road up and I look down. Well, there's three little gray ETs 
gray ETs. I don't know. They look like grays. So they're in jumpsuits, like worker jumpsuits. I don't remember the clothes. I remember them. They look like gray ETs. I didn't really get a good look, but they had that. The head and the eyes, the black eyes, and their skin color was gray. They were different sizes, more or less the same, but different sizes. And there was three of them, three of them there still talking on the side of this road. Now, there weren't parking lots, and the, the, I didn't see no vehicles, but I'm sure there were, because it was a road. But I didn't see nothing on the road. Anyway, there's three guys here talking. There's another guy over here working, monitoring a, a machine or something. Over, I remember that. And he was on the other side of the road. And I go, is this fucking real? I'm like, I'm hanging on like this. I'm looking. I'm actually out on my tippy toes looking through the window. So they put the window, whatever this was, the window was put so I wouldn't fall in. So I'm looking. I'm like this. Because it's oval shape. Like I'm hands here, and I'm like, Ugh, look at that. And I'm going, holy fuck. And, I, and it felt, I could feel the hardness of the window on my fingers. And I'm looking down, and I'm going, are you fucking for real? Is this for real? And I go, there's only one way to find out if it's for real. It was just my instinct talking, I guess. I don't know. And I go, call them, find out if it's real. If they respond to you, if they respond to your voice, you'll know it's real. You'll get a reaction, and you'll know that this is real. And I go, okay. But and I, this is all in a second. And I, so I said, well, I go, what am I going to say? And I go, I'll just ask them what they're doing. So I screamed out. To the guys, the three little guys down there, I said, Hey, you guys, what you doing down there? They all looked up at me. They all looked up at me. And then they fucking ran. One guy went, two guys went into that building, or under the pipes or wherever they went. And uh, the other guy ran across the road, grabbed his buddy, and ran inside on the other side of the road. And then I'm like, holy shit. My heart's beating because I just got a reaction. This shit is real. It, it looks just like my camera, my computer, my light. It's just as real as anything. They're, it was just as real. And they reacted from my voice. And then I thought, did they actually see me? Well, they ran away. So if I was one of them, and I looked up to a voice in the sky calling me, they see a hole in the sky with me. <laughs> hey guys, what you doing down there? And they look up and they see me. Uh, and they ran away. And I'm like, holy fuck. And all of a sudden, I let go. I went, oh, and I let, and the window went up to here because I let go. And then uh, the window backed away to where it was. Then it went whoosh, down into a light. And then the light went down into a point. And the cube came back. And the cube was still spinning. It went like that and centered itself, brought itself, so two pieces brought themselves together in a cube. As the cube was spinning around like this, the light went right into the middle of the cube. And then the cube went away. And I woke up. And I go, I'm thinking, I'm freaking. I'm remembering everything that just happened. So I'll never, ever fucking forget it. And I go, what the? fuck was that? I'm like totally gone. Totally. I was, like, I was gone, man. Like, I'm in my bed. I know it. I just woke up. But that wasn't no fucking dream that I ever seen. I go, what happened? What the fuck happened? I'm just thinking, what the fuck happened? 
And I'm like, ah. and all of a sudden a voice inside my head said, you asked to see another dimension. So you did. <laughs> I'm like, holy fuck. Well, I couldn't figure that shit out, man. I couldn't figure that Anyway, that, that is the seeds. That is another level of the soul. Not your fucking soul down here on the earth. That's the developing soul. The higher soul. And then the inner light. Them guys. And you know how it all happened? I just asked myself. I got actually I got frustrated with myself. You wanted they basically said you wanted to know about dimensions. Well, we just gave you it. And that wasn't the spirit world I was I was using the spirit world in a mental perspective through my own stuff to open up the box represents the earth, and it can be done, but we don't have the fucking technology to do it. The spinning boxes are the reality. You gotta split the reality, open it up, and the light shines, inner light, your soul box. Okay, your soul isn't a body, a box. Your body is on the earth on a box. Left spin, right spin, as the whole thing spins, you crack it open. Open up the light. The light comes through, opens a portal so you can see in another dimension. Took me fucking 30 years to figure that out, or 25, 20 years, I don't know. But, man, that was real. That freaked me the fuck right out. I never forgot that. I even made a bunch of videos about it before. But that is the inner light from the box. The boxes we are in, you go to the inner light, you go to the inner light, and it opens the doors and the windows and answers your questions. Now, the big question is, what if that window was down here, was a door? And I fell through. I asked that to Christ and he couldn't answer it. My feeling is a little bit. I got a little bit of feeling about it. Intuition feeling. About it. My soul will be in that world. Would I die here in this world in the physical? Because my soul is in that world? Not necessarily. It ain't good. You'd probably go fucking insane. But if I did, if my physical body or my mind or my soul went through, and that's why they put it up here, my own inner light put it way up here so I can look. Do you see? All these things make important are important. So if I would have went through, would my soul be that? Would my soul would be in that world? And my body is in this world. My body's in this world. My soul is in this world. Two different boxes. Would I ever be able to get back into this world? With the fucking light closed? Would I have to reproduce the light? Would my inner light somehow get me back? I don't know. I don't want to fucking know. Because that is... That shit... Is way better than my pay grade. That's when you need your inner light to get you back. How that would happen, I don't know. But that's a learning experience. And that and that is of the light. The light helping you answering your question to yourself. Two other dimensions exist. Well, she just gave you how to do it. But we don't even understand what the fucking box means. I understand what the box means. My body is a box. My brain is a box. This world is a box. 
and there's probably more. Subatomic particles. If you open that up, I don't know. I got something on that coming. But that's a whole nother level. And you gotta be shown it. Because you can't take your fucking mind there. If you lay down right now and meditate and go to sub, sub, subatomic particles, good luck. Yeah, I don't even know how you can do it. If you can't fucking even see St. Lucian, how the hell are you supposed to see your own subatomic particles? I mean, I ain't going to do that. I ain't playing with it. But I'd like to know when it's time for me to play with it. I'll play with it. But I'm too busy doing defending myself. At that point, but that I want to think about that. Think about that experience. What what my soul told showed me here over a question I had from Art Bell in the illusion of my soul, the astral world. You can take that illusion. In the boxes, split them, open up, and use use your inner light to split them to open up the window and take a look. Now I can put other spirits in the astral on the moon, so you, I can take a soul. Even my own soul and put it on the moon. But I can't do it without light. Because you need the seeds to do all this shit. And that is what is going on with me. I'm, they're training me. In some weird ass fashion, they're training me to do that type of stuff. But with the inner light. But I need my seeds to do it. And hence, why everybody's stealing my seeds and they're using obfuscation and deception and everything else to keep me off track but I'm not off track because I always have a seed be it 25 or 2 I'm always global and I got past people way up there in the light When you go to the light, you look up and you see the light, you're looking into yourself, into the seeds. What you see out there is actually in you. You, gotta, you always got to remember that. When you're looking out, I'm going to the light people up on past 13 in the astral or the illusion. I'm going to them. As you're going to them, you're going inside to your seeds. That's fucking important. Don't ever forget it. That's a fucking rule in the body. And from what I understand, same illusion too. But it's inside out. It's inverted. What you think you see out there is all in here. It is inverted in your mind. That's what you got to get around. Because the mind is orientated here on the fucking earth. 100%. And it's to keep you alive so you can have experiences here on the earth. But when you meditate and you step out of the box you're in into another astral box of the earth to bypass that, you go to your light. And that's what they showed me. And then to another dimension. You just don't... And there's portholes. There's a thousand different kind of portholes. To everywhere. Inside yourself. Outside yourself. It's so complex. Man, just take it one day at a time. That's all you can do. You can't learn it all at once. I'm learning and I'm in the light. As a light being in the light. But on earth. I'm on earth. I'm with the cavemen, you know, meat world, fight the belly of the beast. So I'm down here in the belly of the beast in this physical world, trying to bypass the physical world to get answers to 
soul stuff. <laughs> How the seeds work. What's going on? So the, I just want to make this. i got three minutes left. I'm going to get it done real fast. That's how you do it. That, that was one experience I learned of the internet. I hope that helped you. I hope that really helped you. So when you meditate, and you're never going to get, you'll get answers. Now, I've already been in the light. I've done this. I've been living in the light for a long time since I got to Earth. But I forgot about them, the ETs. But I'm an ET on a way 40,000 years ago. I came to fucking Earth. Or even 100,000 years ago, I came to Earth. Became a meat man here. And I've been doing the whole meat thing here. Lifetime after lifetime. But I never left the light people. I just got wrapped up in the drama here on Earth. And their belly of the beast physics. Left, right, left, right, fight. That's how it's about. You don't want the left, right, fight anymore? Go to the light. Now you see everything. That's how it works. But you gotta own it inside your heart. Inside your mind. 100%. And then you can see everything. And then you can start playing with it and learning it. And that's how you become a light being. All from one little dream I had and I got a hell of a lot more to go. To teach me about what's going on and bypassing this in the meat world to go to higher, cooler places and have experiences. That's what I, that's what I went through. So. I'm still going through it. Even in the spirit world, I'm dealing with the left-right fight. Even in St. Louis. So until you get to the light, you're going to experience left-right fight. Wrestling matches, hockey games, football games, soccer games, politics. The left and the right, they fight. And then Satanists, Luciferians, Invert the whole goddamn thing to confuse you even more. You use your light, your innocence to see. You can't do that, you ain't never gonna fucking do it. And the rest is just dementia. So that's the way it is. Okay, guys, gotta go. My half hour's up. And I'll post this as soon as I can.